Hi guys, so today I thought I'd come and talk about something that's been requested of me a lot and it's also quite important to me. Basically, it's about my profession. So the question is... Um, I am a corporate lawyer for a top five global law firm. I do loads of merchant acquisition work, commercial agreements, blah, 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 blah. Um, very businessy stuff. Do I enjoy what I do? Yes. Was it hard to get here? <laughs> Hell yes. Um, the question is though, why am I doing what I do? Um, okay, so not everyone can be Beyonce. <laughs> Unfortunately, when I was younger, I really wanted to be a singer um, or a dancer or something in the creative industry. I I used to spend a lot of time making dresses um, but then I've also been quite business analytical minded I couldn't sing very well I was just deluded <laughs> I'm an only child so my parents were like oh yeah you can sing you can totally be like you know sound of music lady or something whoever I wanted to be um, which is great <laughs> and then I realized that I don't think I have enough perseverance to go into the fashion industry like I liked it but I didn't think I liked it enough for me to work as hard as I could to get to the top so I'd always been trying to figure out what I wanted to do and um, I remember in school one day I stumbled I was talking to this teacher my economics teacher and she mentioned something about business law and it all seemed quite interesting and I had been interested in it before because when I was younger I was only allowed to stay up past seven o'clock if I was watching like Larry King live or CNN business live news with my dad so I'd heard about the AOL Time Warner merger I had heard about loads of these acquisitions and even though I didn't really know what they meant they sounded quite intriguing I used to think why would you want to go work for enough company? Why would you want to go buy that company? Why don't you just try and be the biggest company you can? Well, there's loads of ways that companies get bigger. They could grow organically or inorganically. So I was learning all these things. I thought, yeah, sounds like a cool idea. I'll do that. Because at that point, I was thinking of being a banker. And uh, I hate maths. I just can't, literally, as soon as I see figures, I'm just like, oh my God, don't want to do this. So I decided to do business law. Um... So I went to university, did that, I did a postgrad in international business management as well, which is which is really interesting. It's a completely different way of doing of like approaching a subject. Law is just, as you can see, loads of books <laughs> in the background. But business is very you kind of have to know your stuff. You can't just blag your way through. Same with law to a certain extent, but you also in business you have to be quite succinct. And lawyers can go on for ages, like I just have. Anyway, like I said, this is just like a general video. It's not pre-recorded or anything. So if I go off on a tangent, it's because I haven't specifically decided what I was going to say. Um, so a couple of the questions I've been asked is in relation to internships, how I found my first job. And I will say it was not easy at all. I can go into detail about this in a different video. If you're interested, just let me know um, where I can talk about internships, work experience, networking, because finding my first job for me was hard. My first proper job, because at uni I could always get, I worked in Topshop, Selfridges, Dorothy Perkins, Debenhams, Selfridges, literally. I didn't really spend money on clothes at university because I got them for really cheap because I worked in stores all the time. So that was nice. But in terms of my first professional job, I graduated in a recession and it was so hard to find one. Um, after university, I went traveling just because I thought, well, hey, I'm a pretty good student. Like I don't, you know, I do pretty well at uni, so it shouldn't be that hard for me to find a job. I'm just going to go faff about for a bit and then come back to England and look for a job took me seven months to find one um so I can talk about that and in terms of perseverance what you need to do um one tip that I have is to always approach 
looking for a job as your nine to five. So in that seven months that I was unemployed, I kid you not, I would wake up at like nine o'clock and apply for jobs all day. It was so tedious, it was so upsetting, it was not ideal. Um, I really couldn't justify going out and spending money with my friends and stuff, especially as they had jobs, because I just thought, you know, you've got nothing coming in, so why do you keep spending all this money? So I had to stay at home and just keep pushing at it. And there's always a reward. So, I mean, look, I'm not the only one who went through this. Quite a few of my friends have faced similar things. So maybe redundancies, maybe just taking forever to find the first job. And most of my friends are doing pretty well. I'm so proud of all of us. So they work in banking, they work in fashion, um, they work in loads of industries. And it's just something that I feel like I'm not just on YouTube to just faff about and talk about fashion and all these other things that I like. It's nice to bring a different perspective to it. So if you're interested, let me know and I will haul my friends in front of the camera and be like, talk, tell us how you got here. So um, yeah, I'm going to do more videos about this. I believe my next one is going to be exactly how I came to being a lawyer so in terms of my six form subjects what did I study how did I like bug people into getting my first work experience university applying for jobs applying for internships and so on and so forth so it should be fun I'd like to hear other people's experiences as well and um yeah see you soon guys bye god I've done my Star Trek Again. Okay, bye. <laughs>